Greece was once a favoured vacation spot for Germans. But the country's reputation as a holiday paradise is being tainted by media images of poverty and violence. The political gulf between the countries is also growing. I refuse to accept my country being insulted by Mr. Schäuble. Who is Mr. Schäuble to insult Greece? The Greek president was referring to a proposal by the German finance minister that a European budget commissioner be appointed to oversee Greece's finances. The suggestion enraged many Greeks. We should follow the examples of Argentina and Iceland. They don't let people tell them what to do. We should stop agreeing to everything. Merkel, I neither want to see nor hear her or her ministers anymore. She's not a woman, she's a mummy. She and Sarkozy really suit each other. Nikos Timu wrote about the adversity faced by Greeks 37 years ago. His bestseller was recently published in German. The writer is still concerned about his country. But even the rage that has prompted the burning of German flags in Athens can't disguise the fact that without German help, Greece couldn't survive. In reality, they're helping us. But they're doing it in such a way that it's making people really angry, although they should be grateful. It's like giving money to a beggar while scolding him for being a beggar and not getting a job. The beggar wouldn't want your money anymore after that. Timu was born in 1935. He has lived through several chapters of the stormy history between his country and Germany, including the German occupation during World War II and the arduous reconciliation that followed. The Deutschen have the Germans behaved very badly during the war, to put it mildly. They wiped out whole villages and took away all our money. Also the gold Greece had in the bank. I was six years old when Germany marched into Athens. I can still hear the sound of German boots in my ears. These young Germans are working to improve relations between the countries. Alexander Roggenkamp works in the Athens office of the German Academic Exchange Service. I haven't heard comments like, go back, or why are you speaking German, nothing like that. It helps that I can communicate well in Greek. People are more open with me than they would be if I spoke in English. Roggenkamp is from Germany's Ruhr Valley, but he has Greek roots. He knows things could be improved between Greeks and Germans. People should take time to listen. I don't think most Germans know what's going on. They have a romanticized picture of Greece from their holidays. Many holiday makers have been put off the country, prompting German travel companies to cut back on their offerings. Tour guide Lila Milanopoulou thinks that's a shame. She says it's robbing Greeks of a chance to show what they're achieving. The Greeks have worked hard and are prepared to continue working hard. If they know there's a way out of this crisis, if they see there's a light at the end of the tunnel, they need hope and good leadership. Milanopoulou enjoys showing German tourists her country's historical treasures, like the Acropolis. She hopes Germans and Greeks will patch up their differences sooner rather than later.